Happy day tubers, Doug here. Just wanted to give you a quick little note before we get into the vid here that's coming up. Uh, I've been really, really busy working the nice weekend days that we've finally been having for the last month after two months of being rained out almost every weekend days. You know, I was getting some vids out fairly regularly back then because I had time to sit around and do it. And now I've been so busy because the weather's been nice and working hard on the interior, it's been kind of hard to find the energy or the time to do all the computer work to get the, to get the vids out. Uh, I've got a few of them. I've been making them. I'm just not processing them. So this is one I'm going to try and get out. And uh, just again, this little note, I got more coming. You guys will have to hang in there as long as I got nice weekends. I'm two weeks behind on weekend days because of the weather already. And, you know, now it's almost fall. You know, what is it, September 17th today? So time's a flying, folks. But uh, hey, enjoy the next vid. See ya. Happy day, tubers. Doug here. Got a little project going today that's actually got nothing to do with stealth or the interior or anything. It's got to do with exterior lighting. This van is going to get some clearance lights across the back and up across the front. Like I said, it's got nothing to do with stealth. It's got everything to do with lights, LED lights. I like lights, they're cool. If I was building a stealth van, I wouldn't be doing this. However, it's not truly a total stealth van, so got to make it look cool in the process. Now, putting these up here is kind of a pain in the butt <clears throat> because you got to figure out where you're going to put them and how you're going to lay them out. Okay, so what I've done is taken some tape, laid it across the roof here so that I could make markings on it and move measurements around. And I tried to come up with a straight line all the way across here as much as I could. Okay, and across that straight line is where I'm going to put the front. of uh, the lights. Then you got to kind of make sure you got them in line going this way so that they're not sitting all crooked. You know, you don't want them sitting this way or this way. You, you want them pretty much straight forward and back. So I tried to figure out where I could run a 90 off of here and use my square there and off of this line that I ran across here, measured a 90 back this way so that I could get a line to mount the lights on. Now that's all pretty simple. They mount with two screw holes, one front, one rear, okay, on these. But you got to have a hole in the center for the wire to come out and go through the roof. So you end up with three holes, two mounting holes and a hole for the wire. Uh, when I drill that hole, it's going to be a, uh, I don't know, I brought some, bought some rubber grommets where you drill the hole and you pop the grommet in there and uh, that keeps the wire from getting cut on the edges. I think I got to drill a 3 8 hole for those. But uh, that's, uh, that's basically it. The hardest part's laying it out. Drilling the holes and mounting them is easy. Uh, you just got to commit to your, you know, your position. Make sure you've measured it a bunch of times so that you've got them in line and spaced out the way you actually want them on the roof. Okay, now you really need to do this before you finish your headliner on the inside, which is why I'm doing it now. So there we go, I'll get back to you later. Okay guys, back again. I think I've got it all laid out and I'm about ready to drill the holes, but what I wanted to show you was how to center a hole. After you've made your mark here where you want, where your center lines cross and you want your mark, I strongly recommend a spring-loaded center punch. You get it on the line where you want to be, and you push down on it 
until it snaps like that. That way you don't have to hit it with a hammer and it leaves a nice little indent. Alright, well, back to drilling. Catch you later. Okay guys, more on this. I've got the tape off and I've got the hole drilled for my wires. Now what I used for that <clears throat> is a rubber grommet. Okay, you drill a hole, you pop this thing in there. It helps seal the hole, but it also protects your wires when they go down through the vehicle from being cut off by the sharp edges of the metal through vibration. So I highly recommend them. Uh, again, I'm not telling you what size to get. Get what size can work for you. They come in probably 20 different sizes. Uh, plus then you got to find what they actually have in stock. <laughs> Good luck for what you need. Uh, and you drill the hole out. There we go. And you just take this thing and see how it's... I don't know if you can see that there. Let me zoom in on it. Where'd it go? Hello testing. Ah, there it is. It's got that little groove in there. Okay, that's what fits around the edge of your roof. They're kind of a pain to get in that hole, but once you get them in, then they look like that and they work great. Okay, back at you in a while. Okay guys, there you go. They're all mounted. And uh, looking good. Now I still got the front to do up there. I don't know if I'm going to get to that today or not because that's going to be a lot more difficult because of the hood of the van. I can't get really close to it for the middle one for sure and the left and the right. All the way out to the edge is no problem. I can get to them but that middle one's going to be a son of a bitch. So we'll see. But it's just the opposite of doing this. Put the tape down, measure it out, punch the holes, drill them and then put them in. Now these aren't hooked up yet, all the wiring's in and everything. All I gotta do is take a little piece of the ceiling down. That's why I didn't finish the ceiling in here. As you can see, I've still got just the hardboard up there. So I gotta pull out a few screws here and uh, just uh, attach the wiring. That's why I was holding off on the ceiling until I got to that point. So uh, there you go. All right. See ya. All right. I thought I was done with the last little clip, but I wanted to show you that I got them all up there just in time because it's just starting to rain. So we actually had a good Saturday for the first time in God knows how long. But they're all up there. Front, that center one was a pain in the ass trying to reach up there. These are all in kind of a V-shaped formation because of the way the flat on the roof is. With the middle one being the farthest forward. And the rears, while they were the easy ones to get to, they're all in a straight line across the back. And there they are. About a five hours worth of work. I still got to connect them electrically, but at least they're all up there, thankfully, as it's starting to rain. See ya.